Hi, this is Celeste from CreateJex Realm, and today I'm going to show you how to back up your website. Um, you'll be backing up your website with FTP software. So let me show you the two software options you have, or the ones I recommend. There's more out there, but these are the ones that I like. Um, there's one called coreftp.com. You can see the URL right here. And this one's for uh, Windows. There's also my favorite, and the one I use, is Cyberduck. And here's the URL, cyberduck.ch. So these are the two options you have. This one does Mac and um, Windows. Um, there's other ones out here, but I think Cyberduck's probably the best one so far. So I'm going to collapse these windows. And we're going to be backing up this website. Um, it's a website made on Adobe Business Catalyst. And Adobe Business Catalyst does back up websites, but they only restore it if it's something that happened on their end as far as software. So I always recommend to my clients to back up their sites at least once a month, or even if they make major changes on their site, to back it up with FTP program and uh, make sure you have it on your computer or an external hard drive. Um, just basically have a copy. Um, that way you can restore your site if you make a an error or change something you didn't want changed. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So we're launching Cyberduck. And I already have the information stored into Cyberduck um, with bookmarks so I can locate where I need to go exactly. So I'm just going to double click on this. And the connection's opened. And you can see I have a whole list of everything, um, files, um, images, templates. So everything that I need is pretty much on here. Um, so this is the server that holds the website. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to create a new folder. Let's call it Twinbrook Backup. And I'll give the date. And you can store however you, you want, if you want to do it on an external hard drive or just make sure you know where it's at at all times. So what I'm going to do is click on here um, and be very careful when you do this because if you move things around on your site it could um, rearrange your site to where it wouldn't function. So make sure you just click once and you can do, let's see, I'm sure it's a select all, you can go to edit, select all. If you have a Mac, you can do Command A, or if you have Windows, Control A. So I'm going to do it just to pull down menus so you see what's going on. So we have everything can highlighted here. And what you're going to do is just take your mouse over here, click down, and keep your mouse down. Drag this whole folder over here. And you can see that there's a plus um, icon on this, so it means that basically it's, it's going to back up in here. So I'm going to drop it in here, but you can see that this is highlighted. If I move this up, it looks like it's going to be put into the print folder, which I don't want that. Take it back down. It's in my TB backups, and I'm going to drop it. And you can see here in this window that it's transferring the information. It's going to all go through. I recommend doing this at nighttime or when you're not going to be using your computer, because um, it might take a while depending on how big your, your website is. Um, so just go ahead and let it run its course, and like I said, you know, it might be wise to go ahead and either burn a copy on a disk or put it on an external hard drive. Um, just have an extra copy, and like I said, do this at least once a month or when you make substantial changes on your website. And um, just to reiterate, again, be very careful when you touch these files. You don't want to move things around. For example, if I gotten here and moved images outside of this folder, none of these files, which are basically the website pages, would be able to find the images. So everything's linked to something else. So um, I, like I said, I would just go ahead and do a select all from edit, so that way you don't uh, have a chance of moving anything around. So that's it for this tutorial, and hopefully this information has helped. And once again, uh, this is Celeste from creatrixrealms.com.